everyone just wants to scream at each other now. Is this like Weimar Germany kind of? Well, I'm not a German historian. I'm not going to go there. I know very well a lot about the Holocaust, and I think it is a great thing. So, 1940. You are a good Nazi. You don't see so what happened in Nazi Germany in the 30s. They're not it's amazing. Yeah, they're showers, right? Amazing. They're not cages and they put this there. They're immigrants and they both try to suck. You know? right. Well, Nazis didn't like the communists because the communists were all about pr pr producing a world government. Germans and Hitler rallied the nationalists, rallied people around the Deutschland, you know, the, 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 the homeland, you know? And we have we had George Bush and George W. Bush made the Department of Homeland Security and he centralized huge amounts of government power, which I was fully against. I am very much from Not a, a neo very <laughs> <laughs> most certainly. Were they right to remove the Confederate monuments? I want to preserve history for the sake of not repeating it. But if we erase what we have to remind us of some things that were absolutely atrocious, we are definitely going to do them again. But a statue is more than just remembering, it's honoring someone, it's honoring what they did. You can sit there and tell yourself that and oh, I don't want it to look like we honor a slaveholder or whatever. But then we have to remember that we had slave owners in the, in the past yeah. and we don't want that to reoccur. Yeah, would it be fair to put them in a museum maybe? Look, there's places, and I'm all, I'm all about municipals, small government, municipalities can control their own shit. If, if there's a town that wants to take down a statue and put it in a, in a, in a, in a field, that's their right to do. But why should we honor someone who fought against this country? I don't, what do you think, consider I don't think a statue necessarily a honors. There's a statue of Stalin in Oregon. Should we honor Stalin? Yeah. Let him, thank you, thank you. Thank you for correcting I mean, he was a monster too. He was a monster. But I feel that when we continue to make sure that we know that history, there's a statue somewhere that we can point to a young person and say, see that guy? He was a monster. And I think that that's important. So I don't think that erasing history is going to improve the situation. I don't think just telling the story is honoring people. Truth doesn't necessarily honor history. It just honors truth. Yeah, truth doesn't care about your feelings. He's a liar. Truth doesn't care about your feelings. He's a liar.
should Lincoln have responded to Fort Sumter and the shelling of Fort Sumter? Well, I think Lincoln should have let him succeed and let their economy fall apart. And there's other ways to force people to believe, have your belief. It's like social ostracization, I guess shame. Like shame is fine. Bigotry, I mean not bigotry, shame, guilt, guilt trip them. Guilting bigot. Yeah. That's, I think that's a better way. And education, because I think most most um, racism is education. So you think they could have done like a Gandhi thing instead yeah, of the Civil War? exactly. Big time. Big time. Because war creates more violence. Any other statements, sir? Um, that I know of. I don't know what other questions you want to tell me about. <laughs> Stop saying this country because they're Americans too. I hate when people say that. They were Just fighting. because they're from the South doesn't mean they're not American. They were fighting for their own country though. Who cares? They're, they're still American. They didn't want to be Americans. No, they're they, still American. They don't want to be part of the Union. There's a difference. Yeah. So you have this tribal thinking that just because they succeed, they're not American. No, they're, exactly. they're still American. But they were seceding to create Back then, country. they didn't even call themselves American. They called themselves Virginian. They called themselves New Yorkian. So they were very, very um, state. So they won, they won a Trump. That is a division strategy that you can say it's the globalists, the big bad bankers, or whatever force is controlling that. But it is undeniably happening. And we need to sort of find a way to keep talking, keep communicating. strong question by the way and a very serious one and I'm going to try to give you as easy an answer as I can in the right situation in the right context <laughs> that's a weird word but yeah I would die for America if my life was the only thing that was going to save this country I would give it left but let's not let it let's not let it come to that let's not get we? it that way <laughs> let's, let's keep, smoke some let's weed I smell peace. some weed in let's the air right now here
very big community in Chicago. They want to claim it. I don't want to be here. We have a discussion. No free speech for Mexico. I can't always be here. I can't always be here. No free speech for Mexico. I don't care. I can't hear what you're saying. What you're saying is Donald Trump. Ma'am, there are millions of people who support the president. There are millions of people who support the president. I'm a fucking veteran and I'll support that piece of shit. Me, all my friends, they risk their fucking lives for that bullshit.
Bell Beach right now. We had an opportunity out there. Four terrorist groups.